Okay, now before you start, make sure the shifter is shifted into the lowest. That means tapping the inside trigger and make sure that the barrel adjuster is all the way screwed in clockwise. Undo the cable from the mech itself so the mech is slack. This is the front mech, just like the rear mech, derailleur derails the chain. You've got three points of adjustment on it plus the cable tension. Okay, and the three points of adjustment are low and high screws which adjust the stop points of the mech in the biggest sprocket and the smallest sprocket or chain rings. Then you've got where the mech actually bolts to the frame. Okay, this is a direct mount mech, so it has a 5mm bolt to secure it to the frame. Um, you still need to adjust up and down the same as a band on mech. The band one, the adjustment bolt for keeping the mech on the frame will be on this side of the seat tube, so the far side, uh, and that's also a 5mm. So if you just undo it slightly, and then you can move the mech up and down as you need to. And the idea is that the mech needs to be between two and three millimeters above the outer chain ring when it's this far extreme. No more than that, otherwise you won't get the gears properly. So use that height adjustment to get it set here. And when that's right, crank that tight and we're good. Now, like with the rear mech, you can adjust this with the cable free of tension, so the cable not clamped in, so the mech is free to move under its own steam. And we'll start with the adjustment screws to set the low and high position. On a bike like this with um, a triple chain set in the front with 10 speed on the rear, um, you should shift it so you're approximately halfway up your rear cassette, so fifth or sixth gear. Um, this centralises the chain line and gives you the best chance to sort your front mech out in all three chain ring sizes. So locate the screw with L, it's your low screw and you want to centralise the position of the cage of the mech over the chain. Because the mech is slack, so it's hanging over the lowest, smallest chain ring. Um, you need to do this by identifying the low bolt. It's low and high. Um, this is the low one, the top one on the Shimano mech here. And we're going to adjust this to sit the mech completely square on over the chain. Okay, so um, inner ring adjustment here for the front mech. Um, as you can hear, the, the mech is actually fouling the chain. So what you want to do with your chain halfway up the sprockets at the rear is to centralise the position of the mech. So using this L screw, try between counterclockwise and clockwise depending which direction you need to go. Counterclockwise winds towards the bike, clockwise winds towards the outer chain ring. Okay, so that's silent and that's central. And what you want to do is check it with the gears at the top and bottom of the cassette. Your next point of adjustment is to run the cable through, taut, not too tight though. Clamp it up with a 5mm and then you want to cut the cable and then cap it so it doesn't fray. So you want to shift the front mech into the outer chain ring to position the chain ring correctly. So now you've got the chain up onto the outer chain ring, right, you can hear that there's slight rubbing of the mech. So you want to centralise the mech using the high screw over the chain ring while the chain is still half out of the cassette on the rear and then we'll look at moving the chain around the cassette and fine tuning it. Clockwise brings the chain in, counterclockwise brings it out. The chain outer guide is rubbing so we want to do counterclockwise until it no longer rubs. So this is a bit where you need to fine tune everything and try it at extremities in the back. So I'm going to shift into the smallest sprocket to give it the most direct chain line with the outer sprocket and fine tune if necessary. As you can hear, it does actually need adjustment. And we're home. Final position to do is shift down to the middle chain ring, um, of which there's no adjustment screw to do this, but you adjust the mech position using the cable tension with the barrel adjuster. As you can hear, there is some slight movement. Um, and that is because the parallelogram of the mech is rubbing on the inside of the chain. So if I need to take some tension away, so I'll screw in the barrel adjuster until this goes away. And that's pretty clear there. Now let's just try it with the rear derailleur at the bottom end of the spectrum to ensure it doesn't rub on the other side. And we're clear.